So today I'm going to be showing you the muzzle flash. Uh, this is a uh, effect that you can do on iMovie. So here's a little quick example. I'll show you. So this is the sniper. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a muzzle flash like you just saw um, on a Mac and on iMovie. So if you go ahead and open up iMovie, you need to have pre-recorded footage of you making the shot. Um, so like that. Um, and then you need to create a new. So this is what it's going to look like in the end. Um, create a new, no themed project. And you're going to drag your pre-recorded footage into there. So there it is. Then you're also going to want to download a, just a flash like that, a muzzle flash. Um, and uh, you can get, you can just search these like um, pre-keyed, um, muzzle flashes and you can download them for free and um, but you need to make sure that they're transparent in the background so I know this looks like it's black in the background but it is actually transparent you will see how and then what you're going to want to do is you select this clip whatever you do, you, you've imported it into your iMovie and drag it up and line it up to where you take your first shot so mine's right right there. So right there. Put it right there. And you're going to click picture in picture. Now the only way that's going to come up is you go into iMovie, preferences, and make sure that show advanced tools is clicked. And don't click display time at blah blah blah. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, and you can see here is the flash. And I'm going to want to move it to exactly where that is. So if we go back the here. Sniper. Right. See? It looks pretty pretty realistic. And now I don't have any sound in that. So if you want to add sound, you can go into well I have a thing called video effects. I downloaded a gunshot sound that sounds like this. And now um, you'll see at the end of this video when I go boom boom and get knocked back two times, that's me using the full recording. So in order for me to do this, I'm just going to drag it into here, and now I'm going to click on here, and click trimmer. Now I'm only going to trim this to the first bang, because that's the only bang that I want in there. Done. And drag it, so it lines up perfectly onto that one. See that? Pretty cool, eh? And now when I do this, those two shots, I'm going to drag one shot in, there, picture in picture, drag it down to about right here, so it's right there, and another one. Picture in picture. And I want to make sure that the flash is going to be right there. So that looks like this. And now I'm going to add the sound in my downloaded sound. And I'm going to line it up perfectly with the first one. Cool, eh? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I will see you later.